What's going on? Welcome back to another internet draft here on the Magic the Gathering uh, YouTube sensation hour. I'm your host, Pusheen. And we're going to do a little M19 drafting. So let's get right into it as soon as this eighth man gets in here, like you do. What is this piece of junk? 2-2 two, two for 2. Sack a creature. Okay, I'm not even going to look at you anymore. Whenever you cast an aura, the target's root of horns get a 3-3. Three, three. That's actually pretty good. We can build around that. S All right, so 2-2 two, two for 3. That taps for a mana. You can sacrifice it to create a 5-5 five, five dragon. So it's definitely one of these two, I would imagine. There's no choice removal in this pack. I kind of like Druid of Horns. That seems really strong. My problem with this is even if you get Active Trees and like you steal a guy, it's a sacrifice outlet, which is cool, but the odds of you actually being able to play the card you hit while paying the one and the three for Active Trees, and that's four mana, having enough mana to actually play the card is pretty rough. This is also one mana of any color. But it is two colors as well, so I guess we're red-green now. Hmm. Switcheroo seems pretty good. I like this 3-3. Three, three. I mean, exchanging control of two creatures is pretty good if you get, like, a crappy goblin and you give them in the good one. Yeah, we're just going to take the switcheroo. It's like a less broken control magic. Uh, there's a Dread Maw. It's probably just... It's probably just Dread Maw. Weird to say, but here we are. It's a 4-4 four, four flyer if you control an artifact. That's really good. I'm actually going to take this because I'm assuming that maybe we don't even play the Draconic Disciple. Maybe we just play Aerial Engineer and be like, blue-white artifacts. This is much stronger than Dread Maw, so... First impressions of M19, um, I don't dislike it. Let's put it that way. I I expected very little. My expectations were low because it was a core set. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been fine. I have not disliked it. The games have been reasonable. So, here we are. I can't wait for a set without Dreadmaw. Well, unfortunately, there was an article on the Mothership today about how Dreadmaw is just going to be in all sets going forward because it's such a solid creature. So you guys are in, uh, you guys are in for some 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 misfortune. Mistcaller. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Inferno Hellion. That thing's cute. Gearsmith Guardian seems better, right? Plus two, plus zero oh if you control blue creature. So you play this on turn five after this, and then you're going to 4-4 four, four flyer and a 5-5 five, five for five. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, M19 feels like a core set, but, I mean, not really. Like, it... I don't know. I don't dislike it as much as I dislike regular... I think you're a for four grade to draw a card. This card seems very good. I might just want the Invoke. I don't think it's the 2-3 or the 3-2. Um... No artifacts. I'm going to take this, because both of these are big enough to make that trigger. I think it's better than having just a random 3-2 or 2-3. 
Also, if we can get the blue-green land, that would be pretty sweet. Are we just four color, not black? Oh, I know there's safekeeping. That does absolutely nothing unlimited. Four, 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 five. Meh. Four, five, four, five. Four, 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 five. Okay. Uh, just a knight's pledge. It's not exciting at all. I guess I'll just take Thornhide Wolves here. Not exciting, but we don't know what we're doing yet, so. <laughs> Which means we'll probably 3 0. Like you do. Giant Spider is a very, very solid dude. Uh, Divination's a cool card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's actually Giant Spider. I, I feel like we can be banned here. XC Blaze, long time no see, buddy. Yeah, I don't see why amulets are rare. Like, it shouldn't be this hard to get card when it's a sideboard card, right? So, like, oh, artifact, artifact, uh, artifact matters card. When it enters battlefield, you gain one life for each creature you control. That's actually not terrible. That could gain you a significant amount of life. We're going to get the draw card. So I think we're just bant. Uh... Oh, Druid of the Hordens came back. Oh, wow. Really? No one's interested in building around this guy? <sighs> Maybe auras and artifacts? God, that's a lot of things to be. I don't think it's Gearsmith. We only have one artifact now. I'm going to just keep my options open. It's pretty easy, Courser. Because we could go this, this, and this to the sideboard. Uh, we could also be blue-green again. Splash the white card. Interesting. Ooh, an oaken form that's not terrible because of our druid. Okay. Deal. Alright, so artifact dependent. Artifact dependent. Artifact dependent. Enchantment dependent. This guy's just good making a dragon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're definitely green. I don't think that's a problem. We could be blue-green artifacts. And then just splash the aerial engineer. Because Gearsmith is relevant, Scholar is relevant. What does Chaos Wand do? Target opponent exiles cards from the top of the library into the exile instant source. You may cast that card without paying its cost. But that actually seems pretty reasonable. Rex Sage is also good. And it is an artifact. You guys are not wrong. I mean, you're basically in, in limited. All your instants and sorcerers or combat tricks are removal spells, right? So. Yeah, we're going to take that. Lightning Strike is pretty good. Rogue's Gloves are an artifact as well. Spark Tongue Dragon is a cool dragon, but I don't really care about it. Luminous Bonds is removal, but I don't think we're in. The funny thing is we could just splash Switcheroo, Aerial Engineer, and Scholar and be the red be the red deck. Um
think it's actually lightning strike here. Doug Exeter, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I can see it being this for enchantments, this for artifacts, or this for just being red. I think it's actually the lightning strike. I think it's just too strong. Ooh, Bone to Ash is basically a cryptic command. Except it's creature spells. So this is just a, a, a strictly better Windrake? 2-2 two, two for 3 flyer with prowess, basically? It's pretty good. It's really good, actually. Um, does this like want a Manolith? Or an Elvish Rejuvenator? I feel like we want a Manolith. Not only as an artifact. I think I think Manolith is actually better than Rejuvenator, because this actually fulfills the artifacts. And um it also adds any color. So I don't know why you guys would go Rejuvenator over Manolith. That is interesting to me. Yep, don't care about that guy. Rupture Spire actually seems pretty reasonable. Gallant Cavalry also seems pretty good. We're not black, so I'm going to stay away from the Strangling Spores, even though it is pretty good removal. I mean, Rise is pretty good, but we don't have a ton of ways to get creatures into the graveyard. So I think I'd rather just, uh... Jay Deloro, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to take the Gallant Cavalry because I think it's the best card in this pack. Lightning Mare, not one I care about. Rise, another Rise. A lot of relevant black cards in this pack, but I think I, think I actually just want the Plummet here. Rock's Oracle actually does trigger our Colossal Majesty, though. It's not terrible. I do think Plummet is probably the pick. There's a lot of scary flying creatures in this format. Uh, Dwindle? Whenever you cast an Arspill, it targets. Oh, Dwindle's not going to do it. But Dwindle is good removal. I also just like 3-3 three, three for 3-3. For three. Which removal do I have? Lightning Strike. Switcheroo is pretty much removal for their best guy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this this 3 3 for 3. Um I actually think I want the talons here because of the druid. So druid's actually gonna go here, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, you're gonna here. It actually looks pretty cool right now. I don't know if it's great, but Yeah, I'm gonna take the talons here. Highland Lake actually seems great. That's really nice. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the Highland Lake. I don't have a problem with any of the cards in our deck right now, which is really interesting to me. Um this actually seems really good and limited. Just a 4-4 flying haste creature. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. That's that's a pretty late volcanic dragon. And a spark tongue dragon? Okay. Well, that's weird. That's pretty weird. Uh, Knight's Pledge is an aura, so we can take that. I also like Wheelied better. I thought that was funny. I was like, oh, Wheelied. I'm a bigger fan of that. So it's only 22 cards. We can actually play these guys and not really be worried about it. Okay. Could theoretically cut the white cards as well, but they're both pretty good.
does make our mana a lot better. We can just go uh, Teamer. Guardian is also not great. But then again, like if we if we cut the, the Gearsmith Guardian, we're probably cutting Scholar as well. And then if we cut Scholar, we're probably cutting like Manolith and Harial Engineer. So it just gets worse at that point. Oh, good, a Crucible of Worlds. That So far, we've opened as Mythics, Crucible of Worlds, and Scape Shift, both of the cards that have gone down significantly. I think Crucible's like a dollar now. Yeah, literally a dollar twenty-nine. Uh, can block an additional... So 7-7 seven, seven for 7 with Trample? It's not bad. Lich's Caress is very good, but... Mm, double Black's probably not where we want it to be. I could see Sky Scanner as well, but I don't think we're going to get another one of these where we could get another Sky Scanner. I'm going to take this Ghast Bark. Oh, Double Aerial Engineer might be where you want to be. That's interesting. Tectonic Rift being uncommon is weird. Like, what? Why? Probably Electrify. Yeah, I can see Electrify being the pick here. Boar does trigger Majesty, but I mean, I'm just going to take the removal spell. Transmog. I don't know if this card's good. Let me open this just to be able to get it later. Yep. Minimize. Right. Oh, we better not just start the update. That'd be real sad. Okay, cool. Um,. This card was also great when we had it. Remove charge counter, destroy a creature. Its controller creates a 2-4. So, like, a 2-4 is such a big creature to just give them. I don't know, man. That's weird. I like the boar. I also like the other Talons of Wildwood, because this card does not seem bad when it can just keep coming back. I'm probably going to cut the white. And then we're going to cut the Gearsmith as well. And then we're going to cut the Scholar as well. So this is probably closer to what our deck looks like now. I think Boar is probably better than the other one. Ooh, Rabbit Bite. And a Blanchwood Armor? Blanchwood Armor actually seems great here. So does Rejuvenator. So does Rabbit Bite. Also, Rabbit Bite is not fighting, which is pretty strong. Are we soft flyers? We have Electrify, we have two flyers, we have a switcheroo, we have a giant spider, and we have a plummet in the sideboard. I'm really not getting the, the impression that our deck is soft to flyers in the least, but... I'll take that, but I really like the Blanchwood armor. And I almost wish I could have taken that. Uh, Dreadmaw's pretty good. I mean, I'll, I'll probably play the Dreadmaw if we have it, so. Infernal Reckoning is an interesting card. I read about that guy in my top eight from, uh, you know, this set <laughs> from, from M19. Boggard Brute? Guy's fine. This guy triggers our Colossal Majesty, though, which might be worth taking it over this guy. We could also just take the Blood Divination and splash it off Manolith, but... Mm, not thrilled about that. Our only Auras right now are Talons and Oaken form, right? I don't think we have a third. Which is sad. I think this is still just a better card. Eh, Lightning Mare getting plus one plus O oh, at the beginning of your upkeep. I don't know if that triggers if we don't have it. I'm just going to take the 4-5. Let's 
This guy's actually pretty good. I don't think we're going to play it, but what can you do? Yeah, it doesn't trigger because it's not going to you're not going to have a guy at the moment that it would trigger. So What are we giving away with switcheroo? That is the question. Rise. I think Rise is better than Thorn, Third Thornhide Wolves. We could just take Disperse as well. We could actually switcheroo something and then disperse it, which is kind of cool. Oh, look, we could have got a Foul Orchard for it as well. That would have been nice. What is with these walls in this set? It's super weird. Oh, the Blanchwood armor came back? Wow, that's pretty cool. That's exciting. Mono Highland Game dot deck. Technically loses three life. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I think I like Highland Game better than Greenwood Sentinel. I don't care about a two-two vigilance. I'd rather have the life. I'm an astrophysicist, a professional astrophysicist. If you have any questions of this nature in reference to a comment I heard you utter often, I think the, the light, it is likely the universe. This is awesome. That is fantastic, old hove. Man, that's exciting. Now I want to think of all the questions that I, that I have for uh, for an astrophysicist. Which are uh, plenty, I, I, I give you. I think the biggest, uh, the most interesting part of the universe being a simulation is how, like, when you look around, because I'm looking around right now, obviously, and then you think, like, all of this would be programmed, right? Like, all of this would be part of the, of the program. Every detail, you know? Like, every everything I'm saying, every decision, it's all, and that's hard to wrap your head around. So, interesting stuff. Do I feel this format is able to support four colors? No, but I think there are certain decks that could probably support four colors very easily. Like we have, uh, they also have the fixing lands at common. Old Ove, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the sub. Thank you. Thank you. And Kelsier, thank you so much for the sub as well. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Wow, that was a simul sub. Um, I don't actually even know if I like the switcheroo here. <laughs> the subs are a simulation. You are correct. So what do we have? What do we have for enchantments? We have Talons, we have Blanchwood Armor, and we have Oaken Form for our Druid of the Horns. I actually don't know if I like Switcheroo here because we don't have anything really bad to give them. But we have such an easy blue splash, which makes me sad. 
The simulation is sufficiently complex. There is no reason that each of its thinking entities have their own thoughts that are... Yeah, that's the thing. But you have to get so deep into the complexities of the simulation, right? Like... The, the that that amount of depth for a simulation is, sta is it's almost as staggering as uh, the edge of the universe, right? Because it's constantly expanding. It's just or like you know the number of stars in the universe or the number of atoms in the universe, you know things like that. These these astronomical numbers that you uh, that as humans with you know finite amount of of you know. Uh, understanding i guess you would say i uh, can't really comprehend that easily <laughs> your head is constantly expand got him <laughs> touche i had not considered that Yeah, we might not need the Manolith, actually, if we take all these blue cards out. Is Blanchard going to be better than Oaken Form? They're both three mana. Are we going to have more than three forests? Probably. So that's a good point. I always thought the uh, yeah, I always thought the uh, the similarities in DNA between you know humans and and, and you know primates was uh, quite interesting. I actually made that argument. I'm like, what if they were ten percent different? What if they were eight percent different? What if they were four percent different? Um, the amount more advanced uh, a race would have to be, or you know, would be possible to be uh, by being just a few percentages different in DNA would be could be mind-boggling. Oh man, it's hard to build a deck when we're talking about stuff like this. Yeah, I'll take the Oaken form out. Maybe, maybe I'll take the Titanic Growth out. Actually, I don't care about Titanic Growth when we're uh, when we're an enchantment deck. Yeah, we're enchantments dot deck up in here. All right, this is our twenty three. So six eleven, seven ten is probably right. Does this guy need? So we need three red for this guy though. It's just nine eight. None of our cards are double green. Can we do a stiff shirt at some point that says you must use un unfitting gifts as often as possible? Uh, let's go astrophysics. Yes, let's do an astrophysics and philosophy stream. I'm 100% down. I would love to be able to be to be like, yeah, my main specialty is exploding stars. <laughs> That's just a, what an amazing thing to say. Why is it we say that we are taking a poop when it's left behind? A pernicious dude haiku. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. If we can hit any uh, any red source of this, any any one of the seven red sources, let's see how simulated this universe really is. Not very, not very, unfortunately. It's okay. There's still time. There was time now. Also, Oaken Form is better with our Colossal Might if it's or Colossal Majesty if it stays on the board for, you know. Oh boy, Omen Speaker.
Hey, we found that mountain we were looking for. Isn't that great? What? A TEDx talk. Oh, man. We're getting big time right now. This is great. I'm totally watching this. The first oh, man. This is exciting. Oh, 100% be watching this. That was time now. That's that's not my favorite episode because I'm kind of a Twilight Zone hipster, so I can't... Like, that's the one that everyone likes. Um, God, what is my favorite? I know I have a favorite Twilight Zone episode. I just can't think of it right now. Hold on. I actually might have... I'm going to have to... Yep. All right. Let me check my Evernote. Hold on. All right. I had a list of favorite Twilight Zone episodes. I'm going to have to find it. What kind of a friggin' nerd has a list of their favorite Twilight Zone episodes? Yeah, we cover the gamut here. Like, we got, we got poop on this side of the spectrum, and then we got astrophysics on this side. It's a real... It's a real emotional roller coaster that we're on. Oh, I see. Oh, boy, we're having a good time now. Well, this is going to be awkward. Well. Huh. Oh boy, we're having a we're having a thing. Our opponent's deck is mono good cards. Oh yeah, we'll take six. NBD. If I can draw land, I can kill this guy, but uh Huh. Wasn't that a thing? What are the odds this ends up killing us? Do we attack to deal six? Then we take six, seven, eight, nine, go to four. Oh, that doesn't seem good. I'll just pass here. I found it. Okay, these are these are this is a list of my favorite Twilight Zone episodes. I found these on uh, in a little little document I had. For crying out loud, are you serious right now? <sighs> well, Electrify is no longer a thing, but at least the other one is. Jeez. I mean, not drawing lands here is pretty bad, too, so... I have to drive to, to, to Taos and deliver some telescopes. You know, like you do. That's just, uh, it's just a thing you do. We're dead, actually, if they... We can't even attack here. Because if they equip, we're dead. Three, four, five, six. They're just like, yeah, a Johnny's dead. Kill you. Old Hove, if you haven't done so, check out, uh, check out the Discord channel as well. You can just link your, your Twitch and your... Um, your Discord accounts, and then we can actually chat about physics in the in the Discord channel, which would be awesome. By the way, I like magic. I would have I would have guessed. I would have assumed. I'm just gonna go to the next game because we're dead. Yeah, this card's pretty good. I'm gonna bring in the plummet. I would definitely make a physics channel for the Discord. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I would play first. Oh, this hand seems great. We can go Druid into Wolves. 
or disciple into wolves depending on if we hit that that land all right let's see if our, our deck can actually do stuff that does not include dying a physic channel wow yeah, I could do a TED Talk about how I could just use all the examples from the stream. I'll be like, yeah, and then it happened again. And then I noticed it kept happening. So I started charting the data. And I found a pattern. And then I can use graphs and things. Oh, it'll be great. Oh. Old Wanderino. Wall of Mist? What the hell? And they missed a land drop like a, like a bunch of nerds. I'm going to be Blanche Wood Armor all over next turn. Just blanching all up in here. Give me a, give me a forest one time. Wow. That's a 2-5, good buddy. See, so ask for a forest and they give it to you. That's simulation, though. See, my problem with this is that next turn we have two three drops we can do, and right now we can just play a five drop, which is probably just better. Because any land makes both of these better. Or, you know, we have multiple three drops in hand, so... That wall of mist has an axe. Can you imagine the, the, the world where the, the, the wall just comes at you with an axe? And you're just like, this is not... Nothing about this is okay. You got me. There's too many... Ar too many... Too many uh, mountains in my Blanchwood armor deck. I agree with you. Land. Why are you not a land? I don't understand why you're not a land. Well, at least we get four in here, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I was going to say, look at this cutie, but that thing's actually kind of hideous. Nah, he's a cutie still. It's fine. I'm a land, Frank. Can you tap me? So, th theoretically, if you are a land, I could prob perhaps tap you. That is an option that we have available to us. Well, our opponent is confirmed the rudest player in Magic the Gathering, so we are going to play a wand. It takes wand to no wand. Ollie and I do not do freshly brewed currently. I'm actually surprised at the efficiency of this wall of mist. If you're a Thrag Tusk, I have no desire to bounce you. That feels like a bad idea. Um, this is interesting. We could play old Gas Bark, which is actually a pretty reasonable clock here. Thank you. So we're going to play old Gas Bark Twins. Hodge Gulashi, thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. This is the longest I've ever done anything, he says after his two month sub. Fantastic. Fantastic.
Yeah, in the comprehensive rules, it should be like, walls cannot use equipment because that's ridiculous. Just stop it. Chai like, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate the support. All right, so they've paid. Oh, they paid two to equip because this is this is the old song and dance that they like to do. Like you do. It seems pretty okay. I wish we had another land, but... I don't think we're as worried about hitting their spells when we have all these things. If I got a prime stuff, I might as well give it the only stream I should watch. Yeah, actually, uh, I support that decision. That is a solid thing to do. Switcheroo is better when they put that on a guy, actually. That's actually a pretty good point. I'm just going to do this now. I don't really feel like dealing with you having a trick or a counterspell or something. I feel like we're in good shape here. And before the five mana card that destroys all creatures. I guess we still have this and this if they do that. Sure. All of this is okay. Highland game. Well, I don't see any profitable attacks here. We attack with this guy, they just block with like 2205. I mean, I'm probably going to wand it up in response to them casting a spell because if they have a counter spell in their deck, I would rather hit something like that. Whereas if they have removal, like we're still going to be able to cast it anyway. So, uh, yep, let's. Choose you. <laughs> Pro plays, ladies and gentlemen. Pro plays. Universe is a simulation. Thank you. Tanos, welcome back. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the continued support as always. Reveal this guy, which is pretty cool. And a Horizon Scholar, which would have been pretty brutal. Wow, you guys both said pro plays and pro play accessories. That's actually pretty fun. That's, that, that double uh, King of the Hill reference is pretty hilarious. Well, that's not too bad. Give me all my beast value. The beast is yet to come. All right.
I'm actually going to order them so the knight dies. Because if they have any kind of like knight's matter card, I don't really want that to bite us. But again, they could have a blue card's matter, like that artifact. But they already have Wall of Mist that's probably going to stick around for a while, so... I really, what I really want to want to start clearing out this board because it's getting a little ridiculous. And we also want to have our 5-5 five, five dragon. They're at 4. I feel like we're in good shape, especially with the Chaos Wand, but... The thing about Chaos One that's pretty insane that I just realized that it's infinite. <laughs> wow, they have totally lost every single time for that guy, huh? Okay, that seems good. I actually thought this was like... I thought it had, like, charge counters for some reason, but I guess you can just do it whenever the heck you want. Which is pretty ridiculous. Actually, should have done it the other way, maybe because of the stupid Highland game that's useless, but... Uh, Matthew Ari, I think you know that I can't talk about whether I have the time stone or not. Come on, buddy. You know better than that. We've only just begun to live. Let's let's hit it again. See what happens. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate all the counter spells our opponent is giving us. I mean, if we can get a seventh mana here, that'd be great, because then we can play Druid and activate this, or we can just make the dragon, but make the dragon being a metaphor from the old... Uh... Yep, What's we're going to keep doing on? this. Hey, See if you got another cancel in your deck or a negate, maybe. Oh, you just have literally no more cards. Double Horizon Scholar in your deck, a mirror image. Wow, their deck is actually insane. Another exclusion mage, an angel. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the cancel. Everything up until Angel of the Dawn is still in your deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I'm pretty sure we have to start closing this game out. Where were you last turn when I can actually kill this thing? You know, at the beginning of your end step, create three. Oh, yeah, that's pretty unbeatable if they do that. It's cur cur converting mana cost two, so they can get. Okay, Novice Knight, 2-3, as long as it didn't change. All right, so that's great. Yeah, I really don't want them to kill our, our this guy. <laughs> so, um, God, we have no good attacks here, I guess. 
I guess we, I mean, like, they go block here, block here, we lightning strike here, this dies. They put a counter on this, and it's bigger than most of our things. If we go face, they take five. I think we can wait a turn. Yeah, the green planeswalker is. They can only eat one creature? How? They can block the 2 1 with this guy, and they can block any 3 3 with this guy. Really? That's what you top deck? I didn't even see that card in the deck. Oh, is that just in your hand? Yeah, they play, probably drew a planes. Sure, so planes is gone. Wow, that's very good. Did you just get cancel here? Yep. What we really want is the green enchantment or a land so we can finally make this dragon. Make the dragon. Yeah, Johnny takes two and we can kill it, but it's also a three for one. Like, we lose two creatures to do it. So they have one card and it's a cancel. Good to know. Like, amazed at this wall of mist. Uh. Uh, we are currently 6-0 in M19 drafts. I don't... What's going on here? You just have to plus your Johnny, right? Why is this taking so long? Okay, sure. One, two, three... Like, we can kill a Johnny if we attack with... They go block, 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 block 2 3 with 3 3 or 2 3. This here and this here, and then like we just lose this guy. This guy bounces and this guy, nothing gets through. So John goes to 1. And that does nothing. And the board just gets countered because we cannot hit a 7th land on turn 15 to save our lives. Really reluctant to actually run this guy out there because the five five dragon is a little two turn clock. But once they get these horizon scholars down, like it's just gonna be And they also have an exclusion mage in their deck. They have a mirror image. Which doesn't do much, but the, the double horizon scholars are really what we're trying to dodge. They have fifteen cards, two horizon scholars, like I guess we're just passing here. Like I can't like I can't foresee a situation where it's actually reasonable to attack. Just upgraded tier two sub, but didn't get a notification for it. Can you confirm we went through it? Um, I don't know if I can, but I do appreciate it. Awesome, Delp. Thanks so much, buddy. I'll check in a little bit. Yep, that's pretty good. 
You have five spells left in your one, two, three, four, five. You have five spells in your 14 card deck. Yep, this Johnny's pretty friggin' busted. Oh, well, that is one less creature we have to worry about. Oh, wow. Oh, they didn't counter either of those. That's super interesting. Wow. Okay. I was using the boar as bait, but... Interesting. Well, it's 14 cards, so they drew a card. And they have a cancel in hand. Yep, so we get to draw a card. That's pretty sweet. Hey, we hit a land and another land. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, our attacks are not even good here. All right, we just have to dodge Horizon Scholars for two turns. Well, that's a land. So, what do they play? A Plains? One Plains down. If they drew a Horizon Scholar last turn, they probably would have cast it. And we actually know they have no way to deal with this. Yep, they do have a cancel in hand. Hey, we found all the lands, guys. Oh, we can also just attack a Johnny here. Yeah, we're just gonna go face and 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 hope you don't hit either uh, an answer. We just literally have to dodge one of the two Horizon Canopy Sphinxes. <laughs> Horizon Canopy Sphinx. <sighs> Four fours that become five fives. Let's go. Windmill slam it and keep up your counter spell and then we just lose. Mirror image doesn't actually get us because it uh, can only copy their creatures. Copy any creature you control, so they can only copy Omen Speaker, Wall, Novice, or... Oh, I guess they can copy the Mage. So, yeah, I guess they have 3 of... 3 of 12. 25% chance. Okay, well, they did not play a Horizon Canopy Seeker Scholar. Okay, and they're moving that. Seems good. Is this desperation? I don't know. Let's find out. Actually, if we kill this exclusionary mage, we're in really good shape, I think. So let's do that. Because then, the, then, then mirror image is no longer a... Um, no longer an out. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Well, who saw that coming? Yeah, definitely bring in Switcheroo here. Bring in this over the mountain. I also think... Uh, Titanic Growth is pretty good here. Cannot wand ourselves. It is opponent. Hmm. 
No, no, no. Disperse actually could be good as well. If Juan could hit yourself, it would be banned. Yeah, you could just be like, uh, all right, I'll hit myself. I'll find a cruel ultimatum, cast it. Okay. Uh, all of these are good. Both of these are good. This guy's good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. We want to disperse. We're going to cut two cards here. We're probably going to cut a land because... Oh, we got on the Manolith too. Dang. We're going to cut a land. Do we want Manolith? I don't think we care about Manolith, to be honest with you. We have the Draconic Disciple already. All right, we have to cut two creatures. We have 14 creatures. Highland game seems pretty pretty mediocre here. We gotta cut one more card. Probably brute. Uh, I would. Why, I have no idea why we would play Manolith over Talons when we have. Uh... I will cut that for an island, though. Um, when we already have Draconic Disciple, and Talons is good for our Druid. Well, this hand is pretty bad. This is significantly better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Why are we taking out Talons? Talons actually comes back. It's reusable. It's a reusable effect when we have uh, Druid. You guys know how the synergies work in the deck, right? It's a bad Rancor, but it works on our guy that makes 3 threes. Uh, the ramp is irrelevant. We don't have any cards to ramp into, so I'm going to just hope they don't have Cancel, which they don't. So we're going to play Castle Majesty into Bristling Boar. Having Majesty Resolve is pretty strong. Like, if we end up getting Bristling Boar... To resolve next turn it's pretty strong yes druid requires you to target him so we target him with the enchantment that we're referring to right now i don't understand what you guys are what the, what's the problem oh giant spider is good here but so is bristling boar hmm i think i'd rather just have the cards he said greedily well, it's not repeatable. Did I say it was repeatable? Not sure you guys, you guys, what you guys are arguing about. It is an enchantment. I put it on the guy. It makes a 3-3. Three, three. He's also a little bigger. If he does die, we get it back. Like, I don't know what the problem is here. It's a weird conversation that, that we're having. It's repeatable in the sense that it, if it goes to the graveyard, it can come back, right? Like, it's not... It doesn't have... Did I say it's repeatable on the 2-3? The because... <sighs> sure. God, I wish we could draw lands like normal people.
I'm actually just going to pass here. Hat Mike is in New York where he lives. Well, isn't that interesting? Yes, that's exactly what we wanted you to play so we could trade it with this bristling boar. The gas is real. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. One, two, three, four, five. And if we draw land, land it's very good because then we can go this. Choose two target creatures, you and you. Hey man, I could have this. Of course, if they have the bounce mage, it's really good, but I mean, can't really play around that, so. <laughs> Only every game. Oh, also we get to draw cards with Colossal Majesty now, which is pretty nice. Uh, both get summoning sickness because the controllers of those cards did not control them from the beginning of their turns. Wow, no lands. Okie dokie. I don't think you have Essence Scatter here. I'm in so crazy because I'm in the bathroom floor. Just play this guy. Now you have Essence Scatter, which is countering the weakest creature in my hand, which is very, very nice. Divination into Bounce Mage, into land. I don't really want to Oaken Form just because if they bounce it, like they're going to be incentivized to bounce this anyway, and it's just such a blowout if they bounce it and get their own guy back. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's annoying. Now I'm probably going to do it just to kill the Ajani because they clearly don't have Bounce Mage, so this guy's a really strong clock. And they have a 4-4 four -four on board. Oh boy, that's actually very, very good. Now I'm probably just going to play this dragon while we can and kill the Ajani with these two. All right, so wall is pretty useless, board is pretty useless. If they want to pay three to make the gargoyle an attacker, that's fine. We're going to be drawing extra cards for the rest of the game, so that's pretty cool. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can keep this up and activate it, which is pretty cool, because we know they have a cancel in their deck. Nor they don't. All right, cancel be gone. All right, well, they're in top deck mode, which is nice. And our board is very, very good. So is our hand. <laughs> so if they want to trade their Gargoyle for our floaty boy, that is totally fine. I 
theoretically we actually put have could have put the oaken form on the volcanic dragon so if they wanted to trade they would have to trade with their own guy which makes their their mage much worse marauder's axe is cool but i don't really care about it to be quite honest sure i mean i have six six next turn so or seven seven that's also a nice little nice little answer five six seven we can activate you but we're probably just gonna play seven seven we also have like six minutes more on the clock than they do so yep doing okay And that's the game. All right. Their deck was sweet, but uh, our deck was better. YOLO. Lightning and the thunder. That's a cool omen speaker with an axe. I have a seven seven. It is sizable man. Uh we'll keep this hand. It's it's iffy, but what can you do? This is a combo. Look at this three card combo here. Land. <laughs> Come on, really? This is how you're gonna be Magic the Gathering? I'm good at drafting, I'm just not good at drawing lands. Well, my opponent hasn't played anything yet, so. How dead is this guy if we play him? Pretty dead? Let's find out. Lightning Strike isn't uncommon. Neg four. Neg three, neg three is a uh, four four mana card. I will take this damage. I'm actually scared of putting talons on this guy in the. I see. Let's play this horny druid. What? We'll just keep this guy back and block here if they want to do some shenanigans. Of course, if they have neg four, neg four, and we take seven, it's going to be sad. But then we can put Blanchwood armor on this Druid of Horns, and it's actually pretty sizable. I will trade three drop for four drop. Play something that I don't care about, and you're not going to. You're going to kill this guy, aren't you? Like you do. Magic the Gathering. Yeah, Murder's also an uncommon. I'm not too scared of the uncommons in the format. Like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but they're uncommon. Is this real life? Is this serious right now? Like, I could literally play this guy if I just draw one land. I could kill this guy if I drew any red. Instead, I'm taking six and going to four against the red-black deck with nothing on board. Okay. Yeah, all right, so I guess we're just dead. Cool. Okay, I had a fun time. I don't know about you guys. I enjoyed myself. I uh, feel like that was time well spent. I don't regret my decisions in life. I... I, I, I... Uh, I think I'd rather have Highland Game than Boggard Brood here. I think that's probably the only change I really want to make. <sighs> yeah, we'll keep this. Let's try it again. Why do we need a mana lift? We have 17 lands and one, one guy who ramps. I 
like we have infinite two and three drops and like like Mantle only wraps us to five I'm trying I'm trying not to lose here but this deck looks pretty good Spencer, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Eh, we're just gonna go all the uh, all the lands we can. One day I'll draw some lands, just like you. Draw some lands, you must be quick like a raging. Modern? Spencer, do you even have modern deck, buddy? You did not strike me as the kind of guy who had a modern deck. Alright, let's play this old friend again. Uh, what is this? Sure Strike? Why would you talk with both? Neg one, maybe the the life gain card? I don't know. You're running bad enchantments for the sake of one creature as slow as you die. I guess I'm going to have slow deck then. Slow deck time. I mean, I don't really care because it's a literally my third draft in the format so I'm trying to see what does and doesn't work and uh, if I could just look at the cards and know exactly what does and doesn't work then I'd probably be uh, I'd probably have some supernatural abilities in that at that point so it can't be lightning strike it can't be neg three neg three because he would have used it interesting I think people are still bitter about Storm. I think you're correct. Uh, giving tips isn't wrong, but giving tips as if you're an authority is is going to prompt me to be a little more defensive about it because you're saying, like, you're running bad enchantments for the sake of one creature, which slows down your deck. They're all very kind of matter-of-fact condescending statements so i'm gonna be more defensive about my my position when that's the case that's all also giving trample in a matchup like this against uh when they have like reassembling skeleton which just prevents your thornhide wolves from ever getting through um is really not terrible and considering that you can keep getting it back, it's pretty good. We did not get a Vine Mare. Sorry for the recent, but I pulled two drafts in Linear Inferno and draft, and one is my foil. If I send them, yes, I will definitely sign them if you send them. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's gas. Although, strangely enough, um, those packs were probably meant for me if you opened Dry Simulating Inferno. This is Pepperidge Farmer. This is round two. We are down a game, but we are up a match in the draft. So, Scorch Skid, what's going on, buddy? We are currently up a match and down a game. Three two, huh? Okay. Well, this is interesting. I think I like Oakenform less than the Talons for sure. 
I think Talon's getting trampled is significantly stronger, and obviously the return is what really pushes it into the playable category. I just put the Oaken form in because of the Druid, but it is a core set, so the removal is going to be weaker. Um, so if they guess, I guess Neg three, Neg three, it's a one four. It's not great. Neg three, Neg three here is a still a two for one, and we still have Guest. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna block here, and if they want a two for one, it's fine. Um, because it might also open the door for us to play Talons. I think it's Neg three, Neg three. Oh, it's just plus two. But that doesn't even kill our guy. So now Electro... Oh, alright, sure. That's fine. That was actually that was actually very good. But I mean, like, getting these cards out of their hand is valuable. Like, that's a lot of tricks that they had. And now they have two cards in hand. So we could technically go these two. Make a 3-3, three, three, make another 3-3. Three, three. And this is a 3-4, which blocks their guys very, very profitably. Hmm... Also, Oaken Form does get better with the, the Green Horse, definitely. I'm just going to play Gastbark Twins. Kelsier, I'll definitely send them all back. Don't even worry about that. I have Actually, I have plenty of Dry Assimilating Infernos. Don't even worry about it. How about you sign one and send it to me? And I'll, I'll sign the rest. And send them back to you. And I'll keep the one you signed. Because that would be pretty cool. Maybe I can collect people signing sign, signing their Jai's Emilian Infernos and sending them to me. That would actually be pretty hilarious. Oh. This is actually not bad. Now we get to get the Talons back next turn. Yeah, we basically traded a Corsair for a Mind Rot. That's pretty okay. I don't actually know how the Black Deck beats this guy outside of just Destroy a Creature. Which I don't think they have right now. Oh, it's also when it's targeted, right? So it doesn't even have to resolve. Like, they could kill it in response and you still get the thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They can actually go block, block, block. Which I don't think is wonderful. However, we can attack with this guy. I like that. I don't foresee us actually getting more value out of this guy, but uh, if they want to block it with, like... I don't know. They have to block with, like, two things. Which is fine. We'll kill a skeleton and lose this guy and then get the talons back this turn. Yeah, this is just fine. I guess we're both interacting with our graveyard. Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Okay, no counter spells, so I'm actually just going to play this straight up. Let's see what you got. Oh, Macabre Walls? Oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> That's gas, dude. Oh, boy. I will discard Talons of the Wildwood for sure. And we revealed Boggard Brute, an axe, and a Brawl Bash Ogre. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes. This is, this is exactly what we want to be doing. And we can just pass here. Kelsey, uh, feel free to message me on Patreon or on Twitch, and uh, I can I can send my information over for you to mail that. I mean, I think this is just a play, right? Just keep keep activating, because like they we just get free spells each time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just gonna. What do we do here? This is a, just a freebie. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's trampled, so I guess we'll just put it on you. That seems fine. You also get to just see what's in their deck, right? Like, that's pretty cool. Like, eventually we'll, we'll end up going through their whole deck. They have three Bogart Brutes, apparently. That was just a casual 10 from a Chaos Wand. That's pretty good. All right. I'm down to Clown. I think our deck is fine, actually. Switcheroo could be good, but not really. I don't see us taking any other 3-2s or 2-3s. I got some frames that were shipped, so that's pretty cool. Lightning and the thunder. Thunder. You guys hear that? That's lightning and the thunder. This hand is rough. Yeah, this is not... A, God, Cast Wando is pretty good. Two, five, five, and a six, though, is not where we want to be. I'm going to mulligan. Oh, God, this hand's bad, but... Yep, you cannot be here. Their deck is not super aggressive, but it's aggressive enough that I don't really want to be, like... Two lands, no plays until turn four, so... Man, this murderer's axe. People are ax people are asking a lot of questions in this format. Yep, this is gonna be a lot of removal. This is gonna be a lot of damage here. We're we're not gonna be able to block this guy, so I might as well just get in there. Oh, they did not equip. Intrigue. Oh, they both have Menace. All right. Menace is a cool ability that makes magic fun and interactive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can go Doom to center and then equip and they'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. I think we're dead here, but... All right. So only eight, only eight damage, guys. Sack the boat. Sack the brute. Oh, damn it. They didn't sack it. <laughs> sure. Two spells, nine lands. Fair and, fair and reasonable magic. Like you do. Sure. Definitely double blocking here, as you can imagine. So we actually go to eight here. Yep, of course you do. Yeah, we're waiting because I don't want them to re-equip the axe. Ah, oh, the old "you're dead" in chat, always helpful. Yep. Oh, they're doing it anyway. 
Seems good. Well, we can't wait, so. <laughs> this baby can get you 30 lands per game. <laughs> oh, new memes are good. Yep. Menace Creature is, uh, yep, that's a, we had a good game. I had a good, fun, interactive game of Magic. JK, I didn't have that. That was just a, that was just a little meme. All right, let's try to two one. We lost our first match of M nineteen. However, this hand looks pretty fantastic. So, spells beats lands. You should write an article. I should. It's actually a good point. That's going to be on my Patreon page soon. The uh, spells beats lands article. Thank you. Would you pack one, pick one, the one though? Probably because it's a nice, safe, colorless pick. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the four months. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Yeah, our deck seems good enough to 2 1. I'm not really too concerned with it. I mean, this is definitely a. A hand that wins games. Oh, yeah, do that. That's so much better than shocking this guy by, like, a large margin. <laughs> Unless you have another shock, in which case I'll be sad. But you didn't shock it then, and that's probably exactly when you want to shock it. Okay, or just do it whenever, I guess. Four or five. Lightning strike. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I guess you're just going to kill everything. Also, we got a big fan. So, shock, shock, big fan. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, that's a big... That's a big daddy. So, any land, and we get to turn on Colossal Majesty and play either of these guys. So, let's see what's it, what's it going to be. This is where they play the Oaken, Oaken form on this guy, and then we're just going to be like, Oh, I, I, I see. You're trying to do a thing, and I... Okay. Good deal. Land. Thanks. I'm a big fan of Dreadmaw against the green-red deck because they probably have no answer to this guy whatsoever. And ideally, we can take over the game with this Majesty. Oh, uh, these are some dried plums. Also known as prunes, but when you call them plums, it's so much more appealing than just calling them prunes, right? Wow. Two forests, ladies and gentlemen. Also, this guy does nothing against us. I don't even have creatures with power two or less in my deck. Let's do it. Basically, basically it's under my Hellkite. I'm going to block here because if they have plus four, plus four, then we still trade. That seems good. Okay. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
do, 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 do. I'm actually going to put the uh, the Talons on the, the Highland game, because if they want to kill it, we gain two life anyway. And it's a good trade with the Centaur. Of course, you could put it on here, and then it doesn't trade, but they are inclined to be able to kill this with, like, an Electrify or something. I guess they're probably going to kill this guy with Electrify if they happen to have Electrify. And the plums are gone. There's only like five left, so. And now we have a nice trash receptacle. Yeah, I'll take three. When it enters the battlefield... Okay, so it deals one, sure. Draw two. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, this is a good trade. Puts you out of lightning strike range, which is nice. If you ate five plums, it these are literally dried plums. They're plums. Prunes are dried plums, but I mean, like, I could see why you, I mean, but wife came in and saw stream. All she said was that man is handsome and his hair and beard look great. So thanks for setting unobtainable beauty stand. Wow. All right. That's a thing, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, tell your wife I appreciate it. Are they dead here? No, they go to one. And then we get to play Wolves, 7, 8, 9, 10. We get to play Wolves and Equip. Equip Wolves. I'm actually going to put it on here because if they have Electrify, if they tap like Electrify, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We have monolethal threats. Turned off stream and went to take a culture. Okay, well, that's this is awkward. My apologies to all involved. If it helps, I can let my beard run rampant and not groom myself anymore. That's some, what, are, what are we talking about? It's also like the sigiled sword. I don't know what the sigiled sword is. I haven't seen that one. Anyway, I don't think we're going to board anything here. I think we're actually, I think maybe Highland game, number three, but I don't know. We have two. That's probably enough. Oh, it's 7-Eleven day, isn't it? Because it's 7-Eleven. That's fantastic. It turns guys into plus two, plus oh knights that also make... What? Wait, what? Oh, this hand is gas. Show me your shocks now. Uh, I don't think Giant Spider's bad. It blocks all their 3-3s. Three I don't think there's anything better than a Giant Spider in our sideboard, for sure. Okay, it's an equipment that gives plus two, plus O. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's right there. It's like, okay, so plus two, plus O oh has vigilance and is a knight in addition to whenever a creature attacks, create a two, two knight with vigilance. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's card. That's bonkers. That should not be. Equip cost three. Yeah, that's really not bad. And by that, I mean it's very, very good. Oh, I like turn three, turn four, turn five. That's pretty good. They haven't done anything? Oh, this game. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. 
If you like it, then you should have put a sword on it. I didn't have a sword. Well, then you didn't like it, did you? Oh, they learned. They're like, maybe I should save my shocks for the for the more relevant creatures. This guy's definitely a relevant creature. Boom. 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 The best part of playing against the green red deck is you realize that like there's a certain point where your creatures are just too big to be dealt with, right? Like if I put this oaken form on this druid of the horns, um, we, it's probably just too big, right? Five six is just too big to deal with naturally, without some sort of big gentleman. Like, they either have to two for one, like, shock, lightning, strike, electrify, or um, play a similarly big guy themselves, like a colossal dreadmaw. We are not undefeated. We lost one round. We are currently 7 1. Soon to be 7 2. 8 2. 8 1. These are just numbers. I'm all just, just saying all the numbers. 4. Five, six. They could double block here, and we cannot take out both, which is pretty bad. So I guess we just play this guy and deal with it. This guy's just better on board. If we get a, if we get the thorns, actually, it's very good here because it's a. Let me have a six, seven with trample and another three, three. Still, the seven, seven toughness here is pretty tricky because they can just double block. But I guess the, actually they can't. They would have to. Yeah, all right, you got my 2-1. They actually can't double block because this guy wouldn't, these wouldn't kill them. There's only six powers. So they have to throw this guy in the mix and then we get two guys out of it. All right, well, now we have a game. 2-2. Two, two. So they have to, if they just block with these guys, we're in great shape. Yeah, how's Efro doing? Last I checked, he was at like very, very high, very high up. Very, very high up. Wow, 11 place with 25 left. That's insane, dude. Can you imagine if, if, if Eric wins the World Series of Poker? Oh boy. oh, boy. We're getting aggressive here. Oh, wow. All right. So we can actually... This is pretty strong. We actually have to waste the lightning strike. We can actually just kill these two guys and be okay with it. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, th oh. Oh, oh no, I missed a land drop last turn. Now we can't do a good thing. I has a sadness. Well, we're just going to pass here. Unfortunately, if we played Spark Tongue, if we played our land this turn, we could have played Dragon this turn, which would have been fantastic. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Two cards to two cards. We have a much better board. We have a lightning strike in hand. Quad blocks there. Except it sounds like Rock Lobster. I like it. I'm a big fan of that Rock Lobster rendition. Oh, they're thinking of whether they use their trick or not. No, they're not. Okay. A, a big fan emote and a simulation emote are the two I need to work on. So 
Something good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And with the land, we can actually play everything, so... Yeah, I think this is pretty much game. You block the four, you take six. We have lightning strike, so it's actually game anyway, but... I guess it depends on what you have. You could have a removal spell. You got it. Plummet. Let's see what we can get. Shock, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's still that's still lethal. Well, that's pretty sweet. Wow, exactly. Perfect mana, perfect card to hit, perfect, perfect everything. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, everything was perfect. Good games. I'll give them the good... Oh, we don't get to do that because Magic Online was like, no, you don't get to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. We are currently 8-1 in M19 drafts, which is pretty sweet. I feel like we're getting a, a grasp on the format. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and also check out my Twitch and Patreon links. They're both in the description below if you want to learn how to support the channel or the content I produce. And I really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time.